Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, you can uh, follow the Falcon, the runway 2 via Alpha. At this morning, we are taking a short flight over. Juliet here at the ramp, uh, ready to taxi. Honda Jet 1, Romeo Juliet, runway 2, taxi via Alpha. We're to Pitt Greenville Airport. Alpha to runway 2, 1, Romeo Juliet. Uh, I'm going to get a little paintwork fixed up on the uh, wingtip and aileron on that side. Pretty short flight. We've got uh, a fair number of storms down in that area, but they look clearing out. So I'm hoping by the time we get there, they will be gone. That's the game plan. Busy. Might take us a while to get out of here. We have one, two, three, four planes in front of us. And one on approach. So uh, we've got a little bit of wait. Bit of a wait here to go. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, Concord Tower, runway 2, cleared for takeoff, fly runway heading, climb maintain 3000. So we're going to turn right, heading 090, continue our climb to 5,000. 6 Delta Sierra, proceed on course. 6 Delta Sierra, climb to maintain 7,000. Alright, so we're on course. Climbing to our cruise altitude. And hopefully we'll have a smooth flight. We will check in in a little bit. Uh, 526 Delta Sierra, we can get a deviation to the left here around a building if we could. Remember, 6 Delta Sierra, deviation to the left is approved. Just land over, you can proceed to it to pop a golf visitor. Alright, so we've got all this rain. You can see. It's moving southeast. We're uh, going to deviate to the north a little bit, try to swing around the top of this, and then drop into Big Green. We will see how this, uh, how this plan works. Alright. Looks like a lot of the heavy stuff has moved off to the east. There's still a little bit up to the north. Hopefully that just dissipates a little more. Uh, we have uh, about 35 minutes of flight time. And hopefully we can bring her in on a uh, visual according to what they're saying. Alright, we have a lovely view of nothing. Light rain. It are still showing some moderate rain in front of us. And that's going to dissipate. The back end of this thing is just behind us where we landed. But within a half hour, it'll probably be sunny. But it's good practice. I have 526 Delta Sierra, Washington Center. Uh, turn left heading 030. I'm going back to the north of the precip I'm showing. And then are you going to expect to start approach over Kinnear unless you wanted something different? Oh. Something's fine. That'd be the uh, ILS, which is zero. You're uh, expecting ILS 2-0, you say? Correct, let's so we get in on a visual. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the previous aircraft went in GPS from a 2-0, so that should be fine there. 6 Delta Sierra, turn on taking 0-3-0, vectors around the free step. 6 Delta Sierra, fighting a 0-5-0. Zero zero. Alright, so a little activity, we're being vectored around some of this heavier stuff. And we're going to expect uh, the ILS 2-0. At 6 Delta Sierra, I'm going to copy the uh, previous twin cells that broke out about 800 feet. Number 6 Delta Sierra, at your discretion, you're clear direct to Kinnear, uh, Kinnear intersection, and also your discretion, maintain 3000. Number 526 Delta Sierra, advise when you have current weather and note them at Pick and uh, let me know which approach you were to expect. I think you said the ILS. Yeah, we'll stick uh, ILS for 20, 526 Delta Sierra, which you don't have the weather. All right, uh, weather or note when you get them, just let me know, and then is it the ILS Yankee or the list? Thank you. Alright, we're going to 
Delta Sierra showing moderate and headed for the station along the route, starting right about Kinnear and goes into the airport. Uh, like I said, the last guy said he broke out around 800 feet. Okay, Delta Sierra, Kinnear, 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 Delta Sierra, Kinnear,